Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have another what's for dinner for you. My husband and I are on the WW Green Plan or Weight Watchers Green Plan. And so I'm going to be showing you some of the meals that we ate this week and also giving you the points on those. And for those of you that are not on the Green Plan, I'm also going to be giving the points on these meals for the Blue and Purple Plan. So let me jump in here and show you what we had for dinner this week. This first one is bubble up chicken pot pie. I love my bubble up recipes. I've got several of them. They're very easy, very good, and just kind of staples in this house. So this is the chicken pot pie one, and it just starts with some chicken. I'm using this Tyson grilled chicken breast strips. I still have some of those left and I'm trying to get through them. And they're really good and they're really easy too, especially for something like this because you just warm them up and you're ready to go. But otherwise you would be using boneless, skinless chicken breasts and you would just bake those and then chop those up. So I'm just going to get that chicken warming up there in that frying pan. And then I'm going to add a medium red onion that I've chopped up to it. And I'm going to just continue to cook these two together until that chicken is warmed all the way through and those onions are soft and translucent and I'm throwing onions around there. <laughs> I am the messiest cook, I swear. While my onions and chicken are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my biscuits. I'm just using some of these biscuits from Aldi. And I'm only gonna use half of the can. I can't remember if the recipe I'm gonna link on this, I used the whole can. I might have, because I wasn't doing Weight Watchers at that time, but you only wanna use half the can to keep the points down. I just ended up baking the other four and giving them to my son. But I just cut mine up into sixth and then set them aside. Now that my chicken and onions are ready, I'm gonna move on to making the filling. So I've got a medium sized bowl here and I'm gonna just dump my chicken and onions in that. And now I'm gonna add to that this bag of mixed frozen veggies. Just got that at Aldi. And I let that defrost just a little bit on the counter first. I'm also gonna add that turkey gravy that I get at Aldi. And then I'm gonna take that jar, add a little bit of water to the bottom of it, and then give it a good shake just to get all that gravy out of there. I learned that from my mother years and years ago. It's just a little thing I still do. So I'm gonna mix all that together. And then I'm gonna add my seasoning, starting with some sage, and then some thyme. And I'm gonna mix that all together real well. And now the Greek yogurt. I love my Greek yogurt. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there. I use Greek yogurt for so many things now. And in this case, it's kind of a sour cream substitute. So I'm gonna mix that in there real well. And then I'm gonna mix in my biscuits. And you wanna make sure you get this mixed really, really well to get those biscuits kind of evenly distributed through there. So now I'm gonna take a 13 by nine inch pan, spray it with a little cooking spray, and then I'm gonna just pour this in there. I'm gonna smooth it out so it's nice and even. And then I'm gonna bake it in my preheated oven at 350. I let this bake for 35 minutes at 350 pulled it out and now I'm gonna add some cheese to the top of this. I'm just using a 40% uh, less fat cheese. I get this at Kroger, it's pretty good. Then I'm gonna put this back in the oven and bake it for another 10 minutes or so until it looks like this. So I'm gonna let this cool before I cut into it but I will show you what a serving size looks like and what the points are on this. So here's a serving of that plated up a serving size is one sixth of that casserole. And on the green plan, it is 10 points. And on the blue and purple, it is seven. So 10 points for dinner for us tonight. My family loves these bubble ups. And like I said, I have other ones that I have videos on. So I will link those up above and down below. And you can check those out too, if you wanna see the other ones. So tonight I'm making one of my absolute favorites. I make this all the time and I've shown it in other videos, but I'm gonna show it again today just because I love it so much. Um, and it's just really easy also. So 
That is for egg roll in a bowl, and I know there's lots of different variations of this out there. This is just kind of how I do it. So first off, I've got a wok here that's heated up, and I'm gonna take 16 ounces of ground turkey, and I'm gonna just get this cooking in here. I'm also gonna add a little fresh ground pepper to this. And then I'm gonna just cook this until that turkey is done. All right, I've got my turkey well cooked now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some minced garlic, just a couple teaspoons. And then I typically use fresh ginger, but I don't have any fresh ginger, so I'm gonna use ground or dry ginger just to kind of sub in. Now a typical conversion on a fresh ginger to dry would be about an eighth or a quarter teaspoon per tablespoon. I typically use about two teaspoons in this, so it's gonna be less than that. So I'm just gonna add, I don't know, a little less than an eighth of the dry in here. And the fresh is better, but like I said, I don't have any, so that is what I'm gonna use instead. So I'm gonna just stir this all together now, and I'm gonna let that kind of cook for about a minute or so. All right, I've let that cook for a minute, and I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. And I like to use the reduced sodium stuff. and then some sesame seed oil. And I'm gonna just mix that together real well. Now that I've got that mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my coleslaw. Now I'm gonna use this entire 32 ounce bag. I think in the recipe video that I did on this, I um, only used about four cups. I have since added considerably more to that. So I'm gonna start off with about two thirds of that. Kind of mix that in there and get that to where it's starting to wilt down just a little bit before I add the rest of it in. I've got that kind of wilting down just a little bit, enough to where I can pour the rest of my bag in here. And then I'm gonna just mix that in and just let this kind of continue cooking until the cabbage is quite a bit softened. I don't like it totally softened, but mostly softened. So I'll be back at that point. I've got this kind of where I want it right now as far as the um, cabbage. So I'm gonna add in about a half a bunch of green onions. I'm gonna stir that in and let that cook for another couple minutes or so and then this is ready. All right, it is all done. I will go ahead and plate some up. All right, here is a serving of that. I get five servings out of this and each serving is roughly about two cups. It is pretty good size serving, as you can see there, and the points on this are very, very low. It is only three points a serving on each color, and this stuff is just so good. I love it, I make it all the time. It's definitely one of my go-tos, because not only is it delicious, it's really easy to make. So this one is definitely always in my meal rotation. I don't always show it, when I do what's for dinners because it gets boring seeing the same thing all the time, but I wanted to show it this time just to kind of remind people of how good this stuff is, or if you haven't heard of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's great stuff, you should definitely try it. And for three points, a serving, very satisfying. So we're doing a little steak tonight, and this is, what kind of steak is this? Ribeye. I think we got this on sale. Oh yeah. I just got done saying in one of my recent videos that we don't do very much steak because it's expensive, but 
If we can get it on sale, we will definitely pick it up. Can you the cumin? So he does this pretty simple. You just put what? Salt, pepper, and cumin? Sometimes cumin. This was a, I learned this one from my brother. He, he put cumin on his um, prime rib. It's actually pretty good as a, just a general beef seasoning all the way around. Yeah. So that's ready to go. All on the grill. I cook steaks on high heat. So I've just got this turned up as high as it'll go. Um, and it'll be probably just under a minute. Um, I'm sorry, it's about five minutes total. Um, so I'll go maybe a minute, 15 per turn. And it should come out um, between rare and medium rare. That's about a minute 15. So I just rotate it so I can get the, uh, the grill marks, the 45 degree grill marks. And then do it for another minute 15. This is not quite three quarters of an inch, so that's why I'm not uh, doing it a full three minutes on both sides. You know, so if it's three quarters of an inch to an inch, if you want it rare, which is how we like it, it's, it's uh, I do a minute and a half, turn it a minute and a half, then flip it a minute and a half, and turn it a minute and a half. Yeah, we're only having it. Got some corn silk on there, but that's how you get the grill marks. Is you turn it halfway through the side. The amount of time you're cooking per side, you, you turn it halfway through there. You good girl. Can you sit? Good girl. Good girl. You're still not getting any steak. Good girl. And there she is. And that is probably closer to medium, medium rare. Uh, because again, it's a little thinner than what I'm used to. All right. This is gonna be good. We'll cut it up. And here is dinner tonight. That steak was just under 10 ounces, so we cut it in half. And so five ounces of ribeye steak is, what I say, three points? Three points, yeah. I believe. And then the corn here, this is a chili lime corn that we grilled. In fact, I have a video up on this. So you can see how we made this if you wanna check that out. That is four points. It is really, really good. Definitely recommend that corn. So a total for the steak and the corn is seven points. The corn on the blue and purple plan is just one point. So if you're doing blue or purple, this dinner would only be four points, which is really good. But yeah, it was seven for us because on the green plan, corn itself for a medium sized ear of corn is three points. And then with the topping and stuff, it brings it up to four on the green plan. But still worth every point as far as I'm concerned. And that is what we had for dinner this week on WW Green Plan. I hope maybe this gave you guys some ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.